Good evening, everyone. My name is Keith Haskins, Code Primate, and what was that? Was that just the, the audio mixer? I think that's what it is. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Desktop audio 2, microphone 2 are turned off. Okay, so um, <clears throat> before we go anywhere, before we do anything, if this is your first time ever watching one of these videos and you're like a big fan of Lumber Tycoon 2, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right now. Okay, it's your choice if you want to, but I have like 90% of you who are not subscribed, who are still watching the videos, hit the subscribe, hit the notification button. That way you won't miss out on some of this awesome content. And I know the last two have been kind of like, eh, but that's because we are trying to figure out um, the exact measurements of the Bolden brush so I can do it on my solo base. So for example, the reason I have my solo base is if anybody's ever played Lumber Tycoon 2 and you don't want to play in public servers and you want to play in a private server and you don't have anybody that you want to play with, you like just by yourself, you're not going to be able to get the bold and brash because you would have had been here for 2017's uh, Christmas presents and you would have had to get the big gift, which looks like one of these big boxes over here. Like this. And it's got a number on it somewhere. That's number 16. So that's, that's not even a good one. I think you need like 21 and 32 or something like that. I don't even remember the box numbers. Uh, maybe 12 and 13. I don't remember. Anyhow, the point is... Um, we can't get a bold and brash on a solo base. So people who don't have it or people who are just starting out don't have one of these amazing. Bold and brash. So we're going to have to figure out the exact measurements. Uh, now somebody told me that it bold is, oops, <laughs> it is bold and brash. Somebody told me that it is, um, 0.66, um, units. So it's not even a full unit. So um, I'm going to set it down on the ground. Oh, no, we need it. We need it backwards. Oh, turn, turn like that. And then I'm going to take one of these. Let's move it. Rotate, turn. Is that on its back? Like it's an exact measurement. And that's not even the, the trueness of it. So uh, if we hit on. Let's come over here. If we hit move and then we slap this thing down on the ground, turn like this, right? The collision box is what determines its height. So if, I, if I'm looking at this correctly, do you see the, uh, the little box, the two boxes there that like, you can see where the frame is, right? That collision box is what we're actually looking for. I know it's flashy, my apologies. So we need something that is exactly that measurement. So if we look at this collision box, turn, this is way too big. So that's, that's like, that's a full 0.7, I think. So that one won't work. No, I've got plenty of pictures. Where where are all my pictures? I've got like a buttload of pictures somewhere. Don't I? Hmm. Where are all my pictures? Hold on. I know I, I've stuck them like in random places. I've got a ton of bold and brash on this base. <clears throat> Let's go see. I would use this one, but this was this was a, a special present as well, wasn't it? So we're not going to be able to use that. Let's just check to see if this is near the amount. Let's see. Turn, rotate, turn. <clears throat> check its height against this one. Oh, that was that's off the ground. Move. <clears throat> It's still slightly off the ground. It's like way off the ground. All right. Move. What if we do turn, turn, put it face down. Ooh, ooh, that's, that's a closeness there. Hold on. <clears throat> the only way you can really truly know is by taking, oh, that's not even a, a build piece. Hold on. Actually, yeah, we can do, we can do this. Let's do uh, just a single tile. We don't, it doesn't need to be big. We'll just do a regular tile. 
rotate turn, place it there. We'll do another one like that. And drop one right there. Boom. And drop one right there. Come on. Boom. There we go. So if we place these one on top of here, and then one on top of here, if they're close, they will align. If they're not, they're going to be way off. Oh, look at that. It's like 0.1 difference. Do you see do you see the height difference there? Height difference. So, this picture won't work. Move. And then move. All right, goodbye picture. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Again, that's a special gift present. We need something from like Timothy. Where's where's all my presents from Timothy? Timothy, do I not have? Oh, there's a goose painting. Oh goodness. Okay. So we will test with a goose painting. I'll just slap them on that wall over there. We will test with a finger paint. Is it water paints or finger paints? I don't remember. There we go. Um, I need more pictures. More pictures. Do I need to make a trip? We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Blasting through the world, little lumber tycoon. That's not right. Okay, up. I got a lot of gifts. Just saying. Lots of gifts. Oh, hey. Are these sleds? I don't remember what these are. Yeah, they're sleds. <laughs> oh, gosh. Chump, chump. Hmm. I think we might have to take a trip. Oh wait, there's a there's a one over here. What is this? What is this? Is that the goose? Isn't that the one that I just opened? I think I just opened the goose. I did. All right, disturbed painting. Let's go ahead and place this right there. Check its height. Check its height. It's not gonna be right. But move. Oh yeah, it's off. That is slightly off. Okay. So move. What if we do two paintings, one on top of the other? Will that give us a, a depth that we need? <gasps> Ooh. So we might be able to do it with two normal paintings. But. Or, or. Hold on, let's move that out of the way. I had another one of these paintings over there. Ooh, that's that's close. That is cutting it close. Okay. Ooh. Man, I wonder I wonder if being off by like point two will throw it off at all. Cause there's no point five. Right? So if we do if we do a second one of those second one of the, the paintings. Hold on, where did I see that other painting? There's disturbed painting. Hold on. What if we do disturbed painting and watercolors? Is that Close. No. Okay. So I think that's gonna go right there. Move. Just a single water painting by itself. How far off is that? Again, that's like point two off. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think it's time for us to go take a trip and grab presents, uh, grab, grab paintings. I think we're going to have to get paintings because I don't see any over here, man. Oh, there's a boat. Hey, hey, move the boat painting. Hey, there's a, there's another painting. 
Okay. Let's move those over here. Move. You're going to go right there. Oh! Wait. No. Too much. Too much. Way too much. That's thick. That's a thick boy. Hmm. I wonder if this has... Turn, turn. Let's move a little bit more. Where's the uh, the bounding box? All right, the bound box. Do you guys see that? The bounding box is too tall. So that's not going to work. We'll see. What was the disturbed paintings bounding box? Let's look. Let's look. It's right on the frame. So that won't work either. Okay. What if we have two disturbed paintings? One. Two. -hoo -hoo. Two tall. Two tall. It's close. It's so close. Ugh. It's just not it though. Okay. So. What if we have two. We have this one out of the way. Move this one out of the way. Move this one back in place on top of that one. Check the alignment. Ooh. Not, not quite, not quite. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, no other paintings that I've got. Hmm. And I know there's a lot of paintings over there. So let's go see Hoovy and we will head off to go get paintings. I'm going to spend a pretty, pretty penny on this, by the way. That's going to be a lot of money. So, off we go. Beautiful base. Beautiful, beautiful base. It's my castle up in the sky. How many of you are watching this and, like, eating lunch right now? Because I've been on keto for almost a week now. Well, no. I mean, I mean, it started Saturday. When was the first? Four days. Oh my gosh. I've only been on keto for four days. So, and then this is the end of the fourth day. I've been doing really well. And I did not realize I was going to kick into ketosis so quickly. Holy cow. So, I know you guys are tired of hearing about this. Code your ketosis and your P90X. Who cares? Nobody cares, code. Three months, you guys will care. I will care. Because I'm going to be looking nice. Going to be looking like Squidward. <laughs> that's the thumbnail. That's that's the thumbnail. Like that. It's looking like Squidward. Oh, gosh. So, uh, I spoke with Electrotech, and I think I'm going to invite him over to do a video to try and get something, some kind of alternative, but it really is, it is an exact amount. So I also spoke with uh, Jimaculus, Jimaculus, Jimmy. Spoke with good old Jimmy, Jimmy the Cricket, Jimmy the Cricket, Jimmy the Crickets. And he said the same thing. He's like, unless you get a bold and brash, it's pretty much an exact measurement. So I don't think it's gonna happen. Which is fine. Whoa. Is it just me or do the palms look different? It might just be me. It, it might just be me. I thought they looked red there for a second. 
Do they do they not look like red with green tops? Can you guys can we zoom can we zoom in on that, Steven? Can we can we get a zoom on that? Steve Steven? No. Steven, can can we let's see. Transform reset. Oh, that's for Minecraft. I don't want to do Minecraft. I want to do Roblox. Um, there we go. Roblox. Can we get a zoom, please, Steven? Zoom it, bud. Yeah, that's that's good. That's a that's a good zoom. Can you zoom it a little bit more? Is it possible? Can you can you get it like super close there? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Little little bit stretched. Can you unstretch that? Thanks, Steven. So yeah. Hmm. They look brownish with green tops. Huh. So strange. You guys, you guys are seeing that, right? Leave a comment down below. What do you see? Does that look like a normal palm? Hey, I can see Hoover. Way over there. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Man. <clears throat> I need to have a zoom button. Zumba. It's going to be a, a zoom button. Look at that. Wow. It's like I got my own little thingy. Hold on. That is crazy. I can even make out Hoover's hat. There, let's cut it. <clears throat> um, should I pause it? I, sh I should pause. I should pause. We're at 17 minutes right now, and I don't want you guys to get too bored, so I'm gonna pause it until Hoover gets back, and then we're gonna jump on, and then I'll pause it again for the travel. Mm. Guys, who's back? Back again. Hoover's back. Tell a friend. Ow. There we go. Boom. Hey, Hoover. <laughs> hey, Gold. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, I just saw your new book, The uh, Lumber Games. <laughs> yeah, it took me quite a while to write that. Uh, did you have any kind of inspiration off uh, writing the book for the Lumber Games? Well, I saw that you were able to write a couple of books, and I thought, you know, I could do that too. That's that's amazing. I, I love that you were able to come out with a, a, a book that you love to, to make. What are you talking about? I didn't make it to... I made it to make money. That's why I sold it for such a high price. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. I didn't get to control the price of mine. Well, you should have. Well, I didn't. I wasn't able to control the price of the books. That's on the publishers themselves. Well, that's that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, how's your books doing? Well, actually, um, I should be getting a shipment of the new book in tomorrow via UPS. Oh, that's wonderful, Code. That, I'm so glad for you for your new books. Yeah, you can you can check those out if you want. Uh, insert selfless plug here. Um, you can check them out on Amazon, or you can go to Barnes & Noble, or you can go to Adams Media directly, and you can see all three of my books that I've written. Oh. Okay, fine. I will jump into my car, so um, you won't kick me out. <laughs> you know I'd do it, too. I'd, I'd kick you off my boat if you weren't sitting down in that truck right there. Well, that's that's what I'm worried about, so I'm, I'm just going to go sit down, and uh, it's been nice talking to you. Yeah, you too, Code. <laughs> we'll be taking off here just shortly. All right, you have you have a good one. Bye. And I'll sit on this side. That way we don't have the engine going off. And I'll pause it until we get to the other side. See you on the other side. I completely forgot to mention, if you are looking for the books, I do have a link links down in the video descriptions of like all of my videos um, or you can go to codeprimate.com and it should have a link that will direct you to Barnes and Noble or to Adams Media I don't remember which one but that, that's where you can pick them up if you want um, it'll teach you how to program from from no lessons at all all the way up into making your own games um, I know they say it's the advanced Roblox coding book 
But the only reason it's called that is because it's taking you from like playing Roblox into development. So it, I, I think it should have been like more of a introduction or learn how to instead of advanced because well, there's a lot of stuff in there that I don't cover such as, um, oh gosh, module programming. I think I mentioned it a couple of times and I, I kind of tell what it is, but getting into modulations and stuff like that, that's, that's not what the book's about. The book is to take you from no experience at all. Like anyone could pick it up. You, you could take this book, hand it to your mom and dad. They could sit down and read it and learn how to program Roblox. That's what it is. And not just program Roblox, the, the book itself, no one could ever, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to get you, code. I'm going to get you. You better not flip me off this truck. I'd be, I'll be so mad. Anyhow, the book is meant to take you from zero to 100 in 256 pages. It's really not that big of a book. It's nice and fun to follow along with. Anyhow, I got to throw the advertisements out there. I got, I've got to start promoting these two books, the, the new books, because they've been revised. Uh, they now have screenshots of all the new studio environments. They have um, all the updated code for, like, instead of just doing wait, it's actually like system.wait or uh, task.wait. So little stuff like that, little nuances that came along from changing from games to experiences. So anyhow, I'll leave it at that. And, you know, when I actually get the books, I'll probably do a giveaway. So a lot of you will get a chance to win the book. Love, guys. Wait, I'm not saying goodbye yet. <laughs> it's not after all. Pause. Just for documentation and my own safety, I'm going to record this part because I have no clue what's going to happen when, I, when we land. I know that the truck has become welded to the boat. Don't flip me. Don't flip me. Don't flip me. Oh, okay. Woo. Good deal. All right. And we're off. We have to go to the paint shop. Lights on. Turn around. Here we go. So if you've never been to the paint shop before, or if you're new to Lumber Tekken 2, I highly recommend to go and find my paint shop directions, because I'm not going to explain them very well. It's basically, once you get down to the bottom of the, uh, once you get to the start of the maze, which is just down here at the bottom, it's left, 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 right, left, right. <laughs> so, left, left, left. And then it splits right here, which we go one more left. And then it's right. And then a left. And then a right. So it's it's not hard. It's just, if you get lost, you are going to be lost, lost. Hello, Timothy. Ah, uh, bonjour, code permit. How are you today? Very good. I'm looking for a painting that is as thick as the Bolden Brush. Well, take a look around, see what you can find. I'll be here when you're ready. Okay. All right, we've already tried the boat, so we know that the boat is too thick. We're going to try a mummy painting. We're gonna try an iceberg painting. That's a big painting. Oh, hold on. There we go. And we are going to try. We've already got those two. Let's try this one. Okay, let's go ahead and buy those real quick. You want to buy these three for 59,600? Yes. You are a gentle person. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, there's a mummy. Here is a disturbed. Wait, what painting is that? Oh, the pineapple. We can't forget the pineapple. So, get off. And we already got those two. The disturbed and the other one. So, I think that's the only one that we're missing is the pineapple. Two million. Ugh. That was rough. Two million dollars for that. Okay, let's stack you guys in here so you do not fall. 
I don't want you falling out. Especially the pineapple. That is an expensive pineapple. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <clears throat> okay. To get back out of the paint shop, you just go uh, left, right, left. Oh gosh, it's getting darker. Hold on. There we go. Left. Right. Left. And then we go right, 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 right. Right, right, right. And then right. There we go. And we're back out. Hopefully that didn't take more than four minutes. Oh, we forgot to say goodbye to Timothy. He works long hours, just like uh, just like Tom does. We might try the uh, the width of a wire as well. That's uh, that was something suggested by uh, Jimmy. We're back, Hoovy. Hey, <laughs> welcome back, Cold. You got everything you need. We do. Just in time, too. We're about to take off. Wow, that was that was impeccable timing. All right, there we go. Don't forget to hydrate. Oh, I didn't realize we were we were paused right there. Oh gosh, how long have we been paused? I wonder. I hope that wasn't too long of a pause, or non-pause, or whatever it was. So, all right, blink. All right, this needs to be rotate turn. Like this, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you not, there you go. Why is it, why is it being all freaky? There we go. <laughs> and we will hook up these wires. Oh wait, I guess, uh, nil. No. Okay, okay, okay. We need to hook up this first. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter, but that's going to bug me. Rotate turn, turn, turn. Right there. Let's go ahead and destroy this one. Get it out of the way. Move this. So now we should be able to do that. And now we need a conveyor. Uh, was I playing with conveyor? Yeah, there we go. Move. Jump. We're not going to be able to make that single jump right there. So come up a little bit and then jump. There we go. Whoa, almost jumped back in the car. Okay, let's see. It is, it's... It's close. So, rotate, turn, 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 rotate. Like that, right? And it's gonna be flat on the ground, up against the pineapple. Well, that's too, too high, too high. All the way down, all the way down. Okay.
So I think I need to get this one out of here first. Oh, oh, are we bound? The truck is not glitching out. This is a good sign. Did we get it? We may have got it, but I think I have the wrong utility vehicle. I think I have to have the, the XL vehicle. Oh my gosh. The truck is not glitching. Which means it's at the right distance to bind. No, I don't, I don't feel it. I'm supposed to be moving. Let's get you out of here. Get you out of here. Um, oh, dang it. I gotta do the thing first. Oh, I got an amber axe. Somebody was asking me the other day, Code, oh, do you have an amber axe? Yeah, I do. In fact, I picked one up while I was cleaning. Come on, come on. Get out of here. Whee! Okay. So, I think we found a thickness. Get down with the sickness. Uh, electro, test it real quick, see if it works. If it does work, then uh, come, let's, let's do a, a video on it. But if not, that's cool too. Still trying to figure out the, uh, the distance here. It's got to be like an exact amount though. I'm just, I'm surprised that that worked to uh, bind the truck. Let's double check, make sure it wasn't a fluke. Oh yeah, it's bound. So the first part is binding it to this, this truck here. And as you can see, we are not moving. So let's try something here. Ooh. That's bound, right? I'm, I'm not freaking out. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. All right, if we move this. It still thinks it's there. So if I move it out of the way, is the truck bound anymore? The truck is still bound. What's it, what's it binding to? Is it binding to the picture? Hmm. Hmm. Here. Let's try this. Move you out of the way. Move the photo out of the way. And respawn. Oh. Oh. You're loose. You are loose. Loosey goosey. Move. So I should be able to rotate it out. Yay. Oh gosh. What am I stuck on? You know what? Doesn't matter. We're going to rotate right there. Boom. You two can get stuck. Mess stuff up down below. I mean, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> so. What if... Instead of those... We just use a single. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're going to use a single. Move. And you are upside down. Dang it. Move. Rotate, rotate. All the way down, right in the center. Okay, let's try that. See if you bind. You are not bound. 
Okay. Let's move this. Move. Over here. Let's move this. Move. Over here. Let's put this tile back. And then put the pineapple back. And if the pineapple is what causes it to bind, this truck won't move. Oh, it's not. Okay. So, we have determined that it's not the pineapple. Uh, but it is way off center. I wonder if being off center has something to do with it. Let's, uh, let's put this back to center real quick. Boink. Jump out. B. All right. Move. We're going to put you down here. Boop. We're going to rotate and you're going to go right in the center. Boop. We're going to move you right in the center. All right. Now let's try spawning. Truck is bound. Truck is truck is stuck. Okay. Okay. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Okay, let's move this. Move. Over here. That's what's binding it right there. Oh gosh. So we're getting closer. Rotate, 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 rotate. Come on, rotate, get out of there. There you go. B. So, Pineapple Express. Right in the middle. Now, because this has got a slight offset, we're going to turn it upside down. We'll see if turning it upside down off puts the uh, offset. Um, I can't tell if that's like right in the middle of the top and bottom of the bounding box though. So, are we all the way to the ground? We are all the way to the ground. Let's see what you do. It does not inherit the properties. See, the way you can test and tell is if you jump on the, the front of this, it should push you forward or backwards. But we have a very close version of this. Very close. Now, something else I wanted to try before I go is let's go down here. Oh wait, I need to go up there. We need to go grab uh, a wire which I've got tons of wire up here. We just need to find one that we can grab. Hold on, how do I, how do I grab wire that's underneath me? Huh, maybe I could do this. Yeah, I can do that. There we go. Then we can grab that wire, move. Grab this other one while I'm down here. Move. There we go. Move. Turn. Turn. Rotate. Turn. Come on. Go in. Go in. There you go. Sweet. So I should only need one. Move. <laughs> Zippity doo da. Zippity a. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Hold on. Let's try it without anything else at the moment. Move. Move this. Can't place it on top of wire, can we? Can't put it on top of the wire. Hmm. Wonder how the bounding box of the wires work. Hmm. 
It's not even let me put it on top. No. What was that? What was that code? <laughs> so wires won't work. Uh, let's try a full wire right here in the center. That way we can put it on the whole thing instead of just uh, the center. No, it does not. Oh, oh, hold up. What happened there? Oh, is it attached to the? Yeah, never mind. It was attached to the the other piece of wood, not to the wire itself. Oh my gosh! Look at that. That's almost an exact measurement. <gasps> Should we end the video and we'll try this again some other time? Look at that. I mean, it's it's off slightly, but it's super close. Super close indeed. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that I like to call out at the end of the videos, but it's your choice. If you want to go for it, if not, that's cool too. You're here, you watched, you had fun, you learned something. Because, I mean, I love experimenting like this. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll talk to you soon. Outro.